Proverbs 11, our reading text today, is a comparison and contrast between the righteous and the wicked. It's a comparison and contrast presented in the context of the book, which is to describe wisdom to us and to make you and I wise in the way that we follow Jesus. So how does King Solomon describe the righteous? Well, listen to some of the words that he uses. Honest, humble, integrity, blameless and upright. Knowledgeable, understanding, gracious, generous, blessing and favor. Here's the thing, and King Solomon certainly knew this. We, you and I, don't have any righteousness flowing through our veins naturally. Instead, the Bible declares that we're all sinners with deceitfully wicked hearts, that our best efforts are as filthy rags before the Lord. But God sent His Son to die for our sins. And in taking our sin upon Himself, He gave us His righteousness and His right standing before a holy God in return. So how can we apply this righteousness to our lives? Only through the blood of Jesus. In his book, Jesus on Every Page, pastor and author David Murray attempts to show readers how all scripture points to Jesus. Proverbs chapter 11 is certainly no exception. Our righteousness comes from Jesus alone. What does Solomon say about the wicked? Listen beginning in verse 17 and let me whet your appetite to read the rest of this chapter. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work, but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. As righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. See, King Solomon in all of his wisdom is not really presenting a choice between good and evil. The choice we face today, the choice we face every day, is between life and death. I hope that you'll join me today in choosing life through Jesus Christ. Perfect. That was my, that yeah, was my phone.